Vampire is a proud presenter of the 2005 Shakedown on TSN. Hi, my name is Pat Bernier and I'm proud to present to you the fourth edition of the Empire Shakedown, the biggest professional snowboard contest in Canada. 35 world-class athletes will be battling for the $15,000 cash prize, a unique contest format that will blow your mind. Welcome to the 2005 Empire Shakedown. This is one. the shakedown takes many hours of work and an enormous amount of snow to be able to deliver a setup that will enable the athletes to ride at their full potential. Let's hand it over to Brendan O'Dowd, site designer of the event, explain to us this year's course. The 2005 Empire Shakedown setup is definitely the biggest one we've put together yet. We had a lot, very long week with uh, building the jump, building the rail as well. Starting with the jump, we have a 50 to 60 foot long flat deck with a, about a 100-foot landing. The takeoff to the jump this year has changed in a way that it's less of a step down, the 20-foot drop to the 60-foot flat landing. And with the rail, what we've done is we're working with three different materials. We have marble, we have metal, and we have concrete. It's a 16-foot stair set with a down, flat, down concrete ledge, which is 12 feet by 8 feet and then 12 feet again. We have a center rail, which is a 32-foot long flat pin. And we have a skateboard-style ledge, which has a granite top which drops down to a nine foot drop to the land. Because the organization cares about developing the local talent, we hold a pre-qualifying event where top three riders will have the chance to ride with the invited pros. The qualifying format is simple. In a two hour jam, each rider must have two judged runs. The best of the two runs will be counted for the final score. For each judged run, the trick on the jump must not be repeated. Each feature count for 50% of the final score. Just got the final result for the top three guys to move on to tomorrow's shakedown. 
In third place, Will Levin. In second place, Laura Nicola Parkin. And first place, Charles Reed. So those kids will have the chance to compete against the big guns tomorrow. Put some ice in your glass. We'll be back in a flash with the main event. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. 35 of the best snowboarders in the world will blow your mind. The main goal for each rider is to impress the panel of judges in order to make the top 15 and be part of the grand finale later on tonight. Like the three qualifiers, in a two-hour jam, each rider must have two judge drugs. Best of two, count for the final score. The trick on the jump must be different for each judge run. Don't forget that each feature counts for 50% of the final score. has done their two runs. 
While we are waiting for the judges to get back to us with the final top 15 finalists, we have a very special halftime show to present to you folks. Five of the best skateboarders of Eastern Canada are getting ready to session the rail setup. Needless to say, the size of the rails and the climatic conditions are extremely different from what is found in summer. Enjoy the crazy skateboard action. After the break, we'll announce the top 15 finalists. cash price. At this stage of the game, it's all about strategy. Because there is a time limit of 90 minutes to execute their two judge run, some riders will rather get rid of their runs right away to avoid the pressure. Others choose to study their competitor's strategies and tricks and adapt their performance to it. The rules remain the same, with two different tricks on each judge run. Let's roll with the final. Possess the constitution, the depth of faith to go as far as is needed.
I'm here with the 2005 winners of the Shakedown, Empire Shakedown here in Mont Saint Sauveur. I'm here with the four winners of today's event. We'll start with the best trick guy, Martin Ormandin from Montreal. Martin, how was this tonight? It's great, man. Great. So fun. What did you do on your best trick to be uh, winning the best trick? Uh, I did a switch front side board slide all the way, all the kink, all the double kink. Uh, yeah. I hurt myself a little bit. What happened? Bit. Uh, I cut, I cut like really bad on that, on that kink. But it's fine now. It's really fine. I'm so, I'm so stoked, so happy. All right, we're now at the third place. Uh, Morgan Parker here, who's coming from Toronto just to do the shakedown. What did you do on your run to uh, be able to? Uh, Get a third place. Um, maybe with uh, cab seven, I did a uh, switch up on that ledge over there. So, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thanks, Thanks man. for coming down. Thank you. I'm going now to the second position, Reno Bill. That scares us a little bit in the rail jam. Yeah. Reno, how do you feel? I'm feeling better right now. So, uh, how did you do today? I'm pretty good. I ride super well. Yeah. You did a switch backside nine? Yeah, switch backside nine and uh, frontside 270 on the straight bar. Is it your first time at the shakedown? No, it's my fourth time. Nice. Yeah. Every Super year I've been making the finals? Yep, finals and yeah, this year was the best. The biggest crowd ever. Nice. Crazy. Yeah. Good job. Thanks for coming down, Renault. Thank you, Beth. And the grand winner of this year, nobody else. <laughs> How do you feel, man? Ten thousand dollar richer. I feel good, man. <laughs> what do you do for a trick? Switch back and nine. And what and do you uh, do on the rail? Front side board shift you out. Nice, good job. You soak? Yeah. Can't wait for next year, probably, huh? I can't wait, man. Nice. 
Matt Dunno, congratulations, man, for $10,000. Thanks. That's it. Thanks. That's our four winners of this year's 2005 Shakedown. Well, hopefully you guys enjoy the show, and we'll see you next year. TSN and all the Empire Shakedown team would like to acknowledge Mont Saint Sauveur and all the riders that made this fourth edition a great success. It's now time to transfer to the main lodge for a few drinks and some crazy off snow action. Thank you for being with us and see you next year for the fifth anniversary of the Shakedown. <laughs>